you are going to hear a lot of arguments against this deal. And if the rhetoric sounds familiar, it should. For many of the same people who argued for the war in Iraq are now making the case against the Iran nuclear deal. Weapons of mass destruction. A dictator who oppresses his people and flouts the mandate of the international community. Nuclear arms Saddam will place the security of our entire world at risk. Doesn't this sound familiar? So too, Iran's regime poses a grave threat to the peace of the entire world. Same people. Procuring materials that could only be used in nuclear weapons. Same playbook. They tried to create a nuclear program, not a peaceful nuclear power plant. They're the enemy of us. After two years of negotiations, we have achieved a detailed arrangement that permanently prohibits Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. This deal is an act of surrender. They are on a path to nuclear weapons unless somebody uses military force. The choice we face is ultimately between diplomacy or some form of war. A new war with Iran would destabilize the entire region and increase radicalization and terrorism. We've already spent $4 trillion on the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. More than 6,800 of our soldiers were killed. Over 52,000 were wounded, with countless more coming home with serious mental health issues. And over 154,000 civilians were killed. More than a decade later, we still live with the consequences of the decision to invade Iraq. The experts were wrong then. Weren't you one of the people who was in favor of going into Iraq in the first place? And they're wrong now. It's irrelevant to the circumstances we face now. You, I know you keep saying that, but it's, it's actually, it is relevant to a lot of people. Don't let them fool us again.